Next up is uh, 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 some big news about a Judicial Watch case. Actually, we got in the news last month, and I had, and frankly, I just I've been meaning to talk about it, and I haven't gotten around to talking about it. We hadn't gotten around to even setting a release about it, but it's an important case. In California, they have this absurd new law that it requires corporations of certain sizes to have gender quotas on the board of directors. You heard that right, gender quotas. And I don't have. Um, I don't have the exact quota requirements, but the bigger the board is, after a certain time, the more women have to be on the board. It's completely crazy. And um, it's so bad that even Governor Brown, when signing it, excuse me, the California Assembly floor analysis identified a significant risk of legal challenges It characterized the legislation as creating a quota-like system and noted this bill, if enacted into law, would likely be challenged on equal protection grounds. Equal protection grounds. You know what that means? Treating people differently based on an improper legal distinction, like between men and women. The use of a quota-like system as proposed by this bill to remedy past discrimination and differences in opportunity, is, in opportunity may be difficult to defend. In signing the bill, then Governor Brown, who as you know is a liberal, maybe you don't know, but he's a liberal, he's been around for so long, wrote that, this, that quote, serious legal concerns have been raised to the legislation. I don't minimize the potential flaws that indeed may prove fatal to its ultimate implementation. He signed the bill anyway, noting, nevertheless, recent events in Washington, D.C. and beyond, Trump, make it crystal clear, clear that many are not getting the message. So he signed an unconstitutional bill, both, I think, at the federal level, or certainly at the state level, because of Trump. That's the, that's, remember what I said? The left doesn't care about the rule of law if politics was more, and, and if the politics suggests otherwise. Here you have the governor of California admitting that politics guided his agreeing to a law that he knew to be, or knew likely to be, unconstitutional. Already there are 220, 82 corporations that reported compliance with the law's requirements. So what Judicial Watch did was we filed a lawsuit on behalf of taxpayers against this law. In California, there's something called taxpayer standing, which allows taxpayers to challenge illegal expenditures, uh, expenditures of funds that engage for illegal purposes, like forcing this law. And of course, the government came back and said, Look, you can't do this, they don't have standing. Well, the court granted us standing and allowed the case to proceed. So now the case will proceed. We're going to get some of the discovery. We're going to take evidence. And I suspect that discovery will include taking the depositions of senior California officials. So this is a big deal. Last I checked, they're so afraid of this case that they, quote, promise not to enforce the law, even though they don't want to really promise to not enforce the law in terms of a legal sense. The law is an anathema to the Constitution and the rule of law. And sure enough, the crazed left in California are now uh, thinking of passing a bill that would expand this quota system to include race. So not only would corporations be required to have certain gender numbers on the board, they would be also be required to have a certain number of minorities on the board. Now you, you know, I know, you know, we're you're probably naive like you, like me, thinking I thought we were supposed to be against treating people based on race differently. I thought we were supposed to be against treating people based on sex differently in in decision and and hiring. Well. They don't believe that. I mean, you believe that. 
I believe that. The left never, they've never believed it. They've never believed it. And they're trying to enshrine it in law, discriminatory practices. So I'm glad Judicial Watch is doing this work. Also, we, um, I mean, we have other lawsuits over their sanctuary policies in California. We sued successfully uh, um, against California's effort to cause uh, President Trump or, have, or candidates to have to present their tax returns in order to get on the presidential ballot, completely unconstitutional. We stopped that in its tracks thanks to our lawsuits. I mean, we really are Judicial Watch of California as much as just Judicial Watch generally, because we do so much work in California. A, it's a big state, and B, it's a place where the lawless approach to governance is epidemic. Cleaning elections, we got Los Angeles County settled a big case with us. They're now cleaning up to 1.6 million names. We sued over Newsom's scheme to, without authorization by the legislature, mail millions of ballots, including to people who have been dead or moved away. Well, that stopped. A, the, the bill was, they had to pass the law to get him to mail the ballots. And then B, he promised not to mail them to people who were dead and moved away. Now, it's still going to be a disaster. But at least dead people aren't going to get ballots, or at least fewer dead people will get ballots, thanks to Judicial Watch. So California, California crush. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all the latest news from Judicial Watch.